science investigators recently got wind of a strange story. A professor at the University of Massachusetts, Derek Lovely, claims he's pioneering what may be a radical new source of electrical power. All he needs is mud from the seabed and something called a microbial fuel cell. Professor Lovely, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Apparently you are the man when it comes to microbial fuel cells. Now, what is a microbial fuel cell and what is all that disgusting gunk? Uh, well, Basil, a microbial fuel cell is a new way of making electricity. So uh, this gunk here is uh, marine sediment that we collected from our uh, field site out in Nantucket Island. So you've picked all this gunk up from the bottom of some seabed. That's right. So you've gone down there with spades, right. whacked it in buckets, because mm -hmm. you love the stuff. What? Right. Well, it's, we love it because there's lots of microorganisms in it, and that's what we like. Bacteria. Bacteria, right. In the same way humans produce energy by eating, Lovely claims his bacteria, called Geobacter, eat the organic material in the mud, producing an electrical current. It's got a little bit of a red tin. It's still right, that, so that red is the bacteria. Is it? Yeah. No way. Yeah, I mean, normally you couldn't see bacteria because they're so small, but yeah. there's so many bacteria. There's billions on there. You can actually see them. If you'd like to get a closer look, what we can do is let's just, we can scrape them right off of there. Whoa. See them all now? Yeah. That's billions. Lovely says that one day these bacterial powered batteries may be an alternative source of power. It's kind of hard to believe looking at this. So those little wormy things are your bacteria. That's right. Which produce your electrons. Mm -hmm. Now if you look closely, there's finer tentacles also hanging off of this side here. These little hairs. Right. And that's something we call microbial nanowires. It's these tiny natural wires that make the Geobacter special. Thousands of microscopic arms swinging out from the bacteria, each packing an electrical punch. So we've got basically a battery. That's right. No way. Mm -hmm. Prove it. Take this meter and hook it up and see if you measure anything. Right, I know how a digital voltmeter works. <laughs> okay. Let's just check that you're okay. not fooling the system. If I short that together, I have got there zero volts. Good. Right. It's a good start. Now let's connect it up to here, across this resistor. So we're measuring now the electrical potential difference. That's right. Between uh, that electrode and that electrode. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. What we have here. 307 millivolts. Right. So Point 0.3 of a volt. Right. So, my little MP3 player, I can power that with a AAA battery. That has 1.5 volts. This is 0.3 of a volt. I need five of these to power my little MP3 player. That's right. That is rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> that is rubbish. <laughs> Right, but hang on. <laughs> I was thinking, this is amazing. We can power cars and all kinds of stuff with this. Right. But you'd need to go to the lake every five minutes and be shoveling this stuff in your boot, right. your trunk, right. your car, <laughs> every like five minutes. But Lovely believes the red bacteria promise a green future. Like the development of early cell phones or computers, he says that this technology is poised for rapid improvement. So if you reach behind you, actually, I could give you an example there. What is that? That is the newest version of our microbial fuel cell. Exactly the same reaction going on in here as you right. have here. Right. right, we put Geobacter in there and it does just fine. That's amazing. So this is the smallest fuel cell you've come up with so far and it can just about power a calculator. Right. What's the future for these fuel cells? Well, we think we can power much larger devices and potentially even a car someday. No way. Yeah, well the reason for this, no one's ever asked bacteria to produce electricity before. So we're breeding these bacteria to produce more and more power. Within the last six months, we've increased the power output a thousandfold already. Lovely so cells are sparking interest from, amongst others, the US Navy. And he was recently awarded a $22 million grant from the US Department of Energy. So you're breeding super bacteria. Right. That's amazing. It's a green system. Mm -hmm. These are green batteries, right. renewable energy. Right. This is awesome. With no pollution. Fantastic to meet you. Thanks for showing me Thank all of you. this. I want to make my own one of these things.